conscious of the power in you. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7 says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. There's power in you. Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. All of the power of divinity is at work in you. It's not in heaven, but in your recreated human spirit. There's no telling what you can do how far you can go, the limitless extent of your success and prosperity if you'd recognize and put the power in you to work. What has affected many is their lack of consciousness of who they are and what they carry in them. The consciousness of the power of God in your life is the activating force. If you're not conscious of who you are and what's in you, it'll not work. The Lord Jesus walked the earth with the consciousness of His divine origin and personality. He said in our opening verse, All power is given to me in heaven and in the earth. He knew it and affirmed accordingly. When he entered the synagogue, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. What a consciousness! When he made that declaration, the devils couldn't stand it. Then he uttered words that brought healing and restoration to the sick and the afflicted. Glory to God! 1 John 4 verse 17 says, As he is, so are we in this world. The power of the Spirit is vested in you, because you're one with him. You're a member of his body of His flesh and of His bones. You're the representative of His kingdom. The Holy Spirit came to live in you, so the kingdom, power, glory, righteousness and dominion of Christ would be manifested in and through you. Become conscious of this reality. Hallelujah! Let's take the confession together. I'm an embodiment of divinity an ambassador of Christ. Replete with the maximum load of God. I refuse to think failure, defeat, or impossibilities, or I'm conscious of God's indwelling power in me. Through meditation on the Word and speaking in tongues, I bring that power to bear on anything and in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen.